thunderstorm events. And we've been very successful in using our ideas to predict these. Uh, things such as the closeness of the moon to the Earth are not actually the big deal. The big deal is how the moon interrupts with the rush of particles from the sun, which is called the solar wind. So we have to be able to predict both the particles from the sun and understand what the moon is going to do to them. And Does it frighten you being example, able to, to predict, predict it and the, having uh, this kind of knowledge swarm when next uh, an earthquake is likely to happen? Well, we don't know where they're going to happen, but we did predict, for example, that uh, May the 31st to June the 5th would see more seismic activity. And of course, we had the triggering of the uh, volcano chain in Chile then. And this period now, the 13th to 15th, we've got another such, uh, such period. And, uh, and in fact, the uh, Chile volcano has gone up again. And there's going to be a mo more serious events between the 27th of June and the 2nd of July. And those will be very dangerous events of earthquakes, tornadoes, uh, very major thunderstorms. What do you like do that. with this sort of knowledge? I mean, do you, do you pass it on to government's concern? Do you, do you tell them that this is what's likely well, we to do, happen, what but, they should but prepare generally for? We do uh, inform governments. We inform the American government of